Hola, welcome. Bienvenidos a Learn Spanish Well with Mr. Briggs. I'm a qualified Spanish teacher and I upload videos every week. Spanish or Hindi? Spanish versus Hindi? Or shall we ask, what's in common between Spanish and Hindi? Stay tuned and let's learn. You will be surprised. Watch till the end because it's a big surprise. But before we watch today's video, I would like to invite all my amigos to subscribe. Click the red button and the bell in order to get notifications. I upload videos every week. You can also check my playlist and other videos that I have already uploaded. You've got nearly 200 videos of Spanish content for you to view whenever you please. Muy bien, fantástico. Let's begin. Spanish and Hindi. What do Spanish and Hindi have in common? Which language is the most spoken around the world? Spanish or Hindi? Are there any connections between Hindi and Spanish? Surprise! You will be surprised! Número uno. Number one. What do Spanish and Hindi have in common? For a start, both languages, Spanish and Hindi, are two of the most spoken languages around the world. As you can clearly see, look at the map. Spanish, which is spoken by approximately 550 million people in numerous countries and continents around the world, it's the second most spoken language by native speakers. That's correct. If you didn't know, it's spoken not only in Europe and Latin America, but it's also spoken in parts of Africa, Polynesia, and even in Asia. Hindi is a beautiful language. It is spoken in the capital Delhi, in northern India and central India, and it's also widely understood in several other states of India. Hindi is spoken approximately by 341 million native speakers, mainly in India. As a linguistic variety, Hindi is the fourth most spoken first language in the world, after Mandarin, Spanish and English. Número dos. Number two. Let's see what else these two languages have in common. Number two in Spanish is dos. Number two in Hindi is do. Número tres. Number three. Let's see what else can we find out. The word three in Hindi is similar to the word tres in Spanish. Número cuatro. Number four. Number four. Both languages are Indo-European languages, meaning that, in theory, they have a distant common ancestor. There is a connection between Hindi and Spanish, Arabic. That's right. Número cinco. Number five. Hindi, like Spanish and unlike English, has different second-person pronouns based on levels of respect or courtesy. Número seis. Number six. Let's find out more similarities between Spanish and Hindi. Both languages have gender, masculine and feminine nouns and adjectives. So there you are. Surprise, surprise. There's a few similarities between Spanish and Hindi. But there is more. You will be surprised. Número siete. Number seven. The Hindi Punjabi word mes is a similar word in Spanish called mesa. Mesa in Spanish means table. Mes in Hindi Punjabi means table. Número 8. Number 8. 
the Hindi word narangi, oranges, has a similar name in Spanish called naranja, pronounced as naranja, and it also means orange. Número nueve, number nine. In Spanish, a shirt is called camisa, which is very similar to the Punjabi Hindi counterpart called camis. Camis, camisa. Número 10, number 10. What other similarities can we find between both languages? Das in Hindi, dice in Punjabi, and diez in Spanish mean 10. Número 10, número 10. Número dice, des, das. Número 11, number 11. Kiuva in Punjabi, Kiwa in Hindi, and Kiuva pronounced as Ke in Spanish is the same thing. It means what happened? Kiuvo. Número 12. Number 12. So, Sabun in Hindi is jabón in Spanish. Número 13, number 13. Almarí in Hindi is armario in Spanish. Both words sound very similar and they both derive from Arabic. Número 14, number 14. Pijamas in Hindi is pijamas en español. So, we basically use the same word. Número 15, number 15. Tú also means you in Spanish and Hindi. Who would have guessed? Tú, that's right. Tú means you in Hindi and Spanish. Question time. How do Hindi and Spanish rank in the list of most spoken languages around the world? Give it a guess. Which one? Which one is spoken the most around the world? Hindi or Spanish? The three most spoken languages around the world are Chinese, Spanish, and English. If we include only native speakers of each of these languages, that is, we do not include people who speak English, Chinese, or Spanish as a second language, but only concentrate in native speakers, the order would be as follow. Number one, Chinese. Number two, numero dos, Spanish. And numero tres, English. You will find some books and websites stating that there are more speakers of Hindi than Spanish. This is because these sources include Urdu, spoken also in Pakistan, which is mutually intelligible with Hindi as a spoken language. However, there is a problem with this assertion. Hindi and Urdu are written in very different scripts. The Bangari for Hindi and modified Perso-Arabic script for Urdu, which is completely illegible to one another, which means a speaker of Hindi neither understands or is able to read Urdu, and vice versa. A speaker of Urdu cannot understand written Hindi. If we are going to put Hindi and Urdu together as a third most spoken language, then we should include Spanish and Portuguese as a single language also. Just like India and Pakistan were once part of the same nation, Spain and Portugal were also united for a while, and both nations are located in the Iberian Peninsula. Interesting fact, some linguistics regard Spanish and Portuguese as dialects of the same language. 
Spanish and Portuguese are languages from the Iberian Peninsula. They both are two of the most spoken languages in the world, and they're mutually legible, including writing and reading. Portuguese and Spanish share a 95% lexical similarity. Both languages are mutually very legible. Unlike Hindi and Urdu, Spanish and Portuguese languages look very similar and speakers of either language can generally read the other language without too much struggle as both languages use the Latin alphabet. Did you know that the Portuguese also reached India in 1498, setting up colonies in several parts in India? This Portuguese influence lasted for more than 450 years. To this day, many people in southern India still have Portuguese Spanish surnames, such as Pacheco and Rosario. That's right, my second surname is Pacheco. I once met a gentleman whose surname was Pacheco. Somehow we must have been long lost cousins. Muy bien, my dear amigos. I hope you enjoyed this video comparing, contrasting, and finding similarities between Spanish and Hindi. So thank you so much for watching this video. I upload videos every week. Please subscribe, check my playlist. I have a wide range of topics that can help you to learn Spanish. And soon I will start uploading a new format of video. So click the bell, subscribe, and stay tuned. Take care, my amigos, and I'll see you very soon. Adios.